Cut Pro is the number one choice for me to edit my videos. But very often I have been like changing the softwares, especially when I started using iPad Pro, I got LumaFusion. LumaFusion is very simple, very fast. You can edit videos, but few small, small things were missing in that, which I sometimes was um, like, it was impacting my editing. I couldn't get what I really wanted to do. And I am not a person who wants to like switch, means try different softwares or use multiple softwares. I want to keep things as simple as possible. Uh, but I used to manage with LumaFusion uh, because I was not carrying my MacBook Pro. So LumaFusion was uh, uh, the software. And then I tried DaVinci Resolve once it came to the iPad. DaVinci Resolve is completely new for me. It's a very like strong high-end software which is used for editing Hollywood movies so it's too much for me that's what I feel I did a complete tutorial try to learn the software but many times I get stuck or I feel it's too much for me and again I go back to Final Cut Pro Final Cut Pro for me is like very uh, like I like to I love working it, with it because I have done a lot of editing with that I don't know all the features of that, but I can use it for all my edits. So yesterday they launched Final Cut Pro for iPad. It's a subscription based uh, model. So it's not too much of money, but um, I don't know whether I should take it. I have taken the trial for one month. It's free trial. I'll try to use it. I see few things missing in that. Uh, first thing is stabilization. Stabilization is very important for me because all my shots are handheld except these kind of shots which I sit and talk. Otherwise, mostly blogging, it's handheld shots. I have a very good camera. The R5 has IBIS, the inbuilt stabilization and digital stabilization also. Even the lenses have stabilization. So I get really good shots, but there are situations when I need to use stabilization and I feel that's one of the most important feature that I would need in the iPad version of Final Cut Pro if I have to use it because every video I edit, I need to use stabilization at least for one or two shots. LumaFusion has that, even DaVinci Resolve have that on iPad. LumaFusion is a paid software. It has evolved like anything. I have been using it from the beginning. I purchased it when it was initially released. And now it's like a really good software, very strong software. Uh, only few things it's missing. Uh, otherwise, it's really nice and it's very fast to edit on the go. DaVinci Resolve similarly is um, really good for the iPad version is really good. It's kept a bit simple compared to the full blown version, the Mac version or the Windows version. Final Cut Pro for iPad, I'll try. I don't know whether I'll edit this video on uh, iPad using the Final Cut Pro. I may do that. I'll let you know towards the end of this video because I'm still thinking about it. Users of Final Cut Pro were really expecting that this iPad version would come very soon. Uh, and I was also really expecting that because iPad is something which we can use, like it's very small compact device and we carry it often when we are traveling. Uh, so people like me who edit videos on the go while traveling, sitting at the airport. Uh, using iPad is quite easy. I don't say that MacBook Pro is difficult, but I feel it's a little more easy compared to the other um, software. So a completely new feature that we can use from the iPad version of Final Cut Pro is the pencil. You can scribble on the screen, you can write on the video like what you want and um, it will create a small clip on top of the clip and it would work really good uh, for people uh, who wants to do some animation like like writing on the screen that's going to be good i will try that i would uh, because that is not available for either luma fusion or even the davinci resolve ipad version so my first thought on uh, Final Cut Pro iPad version is, uh, it's good, it's compact, it's uh, missing few small features, not small features actually. Stabilization is a big feature for me. It's very important. I cannot like get the video stabilized from another, using another software and then bring it here. That's, that's too much of work. I don't want to do that. 
Luma Fusion stabilization is really good. Even um, DaVinci Resolve stabilization on iPad is really good. Final Cut Pro has stabilization on the Mac version, but I wanted that everybody wants that in the iPad version. Then I'll use the software and I'll make a follow-up video. Few initial things which I noticed, it supports uh, log files. Most of the people use log files now nowadays, so it's very important. It supports that and uh, conversion is possible, automatic conversion is possible, manual conversion is possible, you can use LUTs. There are so many presets already available. One more thing I really like is the uh, sounds, the musics which um, they have provided. I don't know whether that is royalty free and we can use it on uh, YouTube. We need to check on that. If anybody has answers for that, uh, do let me know. Uh, as of now, the few doubts for me is first thing is, is are those music royalty free? Can we use it? Second thing is about the stabilization. Mm. And one more uh, problem what I have faced when I use iPad for uploading videos, sometimes what happens is if I am uploading a video and there is a video call or something coming, then uh, it gets disconnected and uh, so that is a problem. I don't know whether those things are solved with the Final Cut Pro version.